a deformity, in which the hands or feet are attached close to the trunk, the limbs being very underdeveloped or absent. While phocomelia is the most notable side effect of thalidomide, a medication for leprosy, there have been several cases in the last 30 years of phocomelia associated with thalidomide use. However, today the cause of most cases is undetermined. Phocomelia is a rare birth defect that can affect the upper and lower limbs. In people with this condition, the bones of the affected limb are either missing or underdeveloped. The term is from ancient Greek, where phoc means seal, and melos, which means limb. The limb is therefore extremely shortened and in severe cases the hand or foot may be attached directly to the trunk. The involvement of the condition ranges from a single limb to both upper and lower limbs. In many cases, the underlying cause of phocomelia is poorly understood. It can be inherited as part of a genetic syndrome. Phocomelia can also be caused by maternal exposure to certain drugs during pregnancy, such as thalidomide. Thalidomide is a medication that changes the body's immune response and lowers the ability of the body to grow new blood vessels. It was introduced in Germany and other countries in Europe and other continents in the 1960s as a sedative. It is one of the first medications known to cause birth defects in humans. It was prescribed to pregnant women to treat nausea and vomiting of early pregnancy. It has been used to treat several conditions, such as leprosy, cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, and complications from HIV infection. Today, the drug is used for conditions like Crohn's disease, multiple myeloma, and Hansen's disease or leprosy. If you receive a prescription for thalidomide, it's important to make sure you're not pregnant. Other causes that also contribute to phocomelia, such as substance use, like alcohol or cocaine, gestational diabetes, X-ray radiation, and blood flow problems. Every pregnancy starts out with a 3-5% to chance of having a birth defect. This is called the background risk. Thalidomide can increase the chance for birth defects above 20%. In an effort to assess the prevalence of true phocomelia, reports indicate that true phocomelia occurs in 0.6 live births per every 100,000 patients. And it is worth notice that the first phocomelia case in history was a son of the prophet and king of Jews, King Solomon. There is no specific treatment for phocomelia, but there are some techniques to overcome the problem. Prosthetics are artificial limbs that are attached to the body. They can add length to an existing limb or replace an absent one. This makes it easier to do everyday activities, which can improve overall quality of life. Treatment may also include various forms of rehabilitation, such as occupational therapy. With occupational therapy, a person with phocomelia can learn how to do daily tasks with ease. Physical therapy can improve movement, strength, and posture. However, if it is part of a genetic syndrome, surgical intervention may be recommended for associated malformations. <laughs>